It's the Cloud App Studio. Today I want to show you how to use a handy little PDF editor right in Google Drive to trim down PDFs. So I've got here a number of current events packages. These come out once a month and they include news from Canada and around the world. Very nice, I use them once in a while. So here's what they look like. Let's open one up just so you get a sense of what's in this thing. Okay, so we've got stories about a big pipeline. We've got millions flee, Ven <laughs> flee Venezuela, Florence and Mangut, Pacific wild salmon. Okay, so those are all of the stories. And each story, you can see this one is about the pipeline. Each story is maybe six, seven pages long, and then it goes to the next one. So here's the point. As a teacher, what if I just want to post one story, one, one series of pages from one story on Google Classroom? And let me tell you, these are great assignments for TOCs or substitute teachers if you are planning a day away and you need to leave some work. These are excellent. So what if I just want, let's say this first section, the Trans Mountain Pipeline. So what I do is I right click and then watch this. In Drive, you have these options. Actually, by default, I think you just have Google Docs and then everything else you have to add. So if you ever connect, if you ever hit this, connect more apps, you have a ton of options of apps you can add to your drive. And I'm not going to show you all of them, but if you just scroll through, you can explore. And it's kind of a, a fun place to look around and see what else can you be doing with your Google Drive. So back to the PDF here, I'm going to open with DocHub. And DocHub is an an add-on that I have really come to love and appreciate in my practice makes things a lot easier. If you do know of a better do, uh, PDF editor, then by all means do let me know. But uh, th this is the one that I like to use and it seems to get the job done really well. So uh, this file happens to be passworded. Not very many files are actually, but this one is. So I always like to open this page viewer over here on the side. And right away, I'm gonna start selecting. So I'm gonna click and then hold down the shift key. See these two are selected. And right click and delete. Yes, I do want to delete. Now don't worry, the, your original will be protected. Okay, so don't worry about your original file. And then all the other pages, of course, in the package, are going to be deleted because all I want is the section about the pipeline. Oops. Okay. And delete. Okay, and I'm deleting. Now, there could be a faster way to do this. <laughs> But this is the what this is kind of what I've become accustomed to. So again, if you're watching this and you're like, oh dude, you are taking forever to get that done. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake there. And just let me know in the comments if I could be doing this faster. Ooh, there's a lot of pages to go here. Okay, so I think you get the idea. I'm going to pause the video there and come back when I've deleted the rest of the pages. Okay, so I've, I've gone through the whole package and I've deleted all other pages. And now all I have is the Trans Mountain Pacific Pipeline. That is the section that I wanted. Okay, you can see what it looks like and kind of get a sense of all of the pieces here. So I'm going to show you two more important steps. One, We've got to save this file as a unique copy, right? So you go to download export. And this stage is a, just a little bit messier than I would like, but you've got to designate where you want to put it. So choose a folder intentionally. Okay, and let's put it in eight social studies. And I think I had it in what in or where in the world. Oh. It wants me to just select the folder. Okay. 
All right, and then I would give this a unique name just to make sure you keep it clear in your mind which uh, which PDF this is. So Trans Mountain Pacific, oh, it separates Trans and Mountain, okay. Mountain Pacific Pipeline, okay. And export to drive. So now when I go to my drive, I should see, show me should see a unique copy, a unique PDF here that, yeah. Uh, what I wanna see is this, uh, refresh. I'm hoping to see the Trans Mountain Pacific Pipeline PDF here. Let's see if it shows up. There it is. Okay, so that's what we just made using DocUp. Now, one more thing. I don't, I've tried this with students and for some they like it, most hate it. But if you ever are in a situation where you just don't have paper for whatever reason, DocUp also lets students write right on the PDF as well. So maybe we choose a different color here. What are pipelines used for? And the nice thing about the DocHub PDF writer is it, it kind of finds the line. It jumps the line automatically. So you know, I'm just going to make up some here. Pipelines are used to transport oil across vast distances. Okay. And then you, you know, can go through it. And it'll keep writing on the lines. It looks really sharp, obviously. And they can do just about everything they need to do inside of this PDF writer. They can even label maps, although in this case, we'd have to figure out how to rotate. Oh, let's see if we can rotate just this page. Uh, nope, doesn't want to, maybe. Yeah, let's go down, select it, and rotate. Mm, doesn't wanna, doesn't seem to wanna do that. Okay, so I'm not sure about the rotation, but <laughs> but you can definitely trim out any pages you want and you can write on the PDF. So that is a longer than it should have been tour of Doc Hub PDF Writer. It's an add-on inside your Google Drive. Again, if you're looking to add it, just right click any PDF file and click open with and then connect more apps. In fact, I don't even think the file needs to be PDF. Just click any file and take it from there okay hope that answers your questions so i'm not leading you astray i'm going to recommend again adding doc hub to your arsenal take care